Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna talk through the Spring Fab Fit Fun box, which I became a member of last year. Started out as a just a one-time purchase, one box, let's just see what it's like, and then got sucked into all the marketing and how fab it is, and now I'm an annual member and I do pay for the box myself. I think it's great. I have to admit this spring one was probably my least favorite of the three that I've had so far. However, I thought we'd run through and show you what's inside the box because who doesn't love an unboxing? Plus, I did a little treat yourself moment and I bought myself a little bag, which we'll talk about as part of the add-ons with FabFitFun. So stay tuned till the end and I will show you my new handbag. Welcome back everyone. If you're new around here, hello, my name's Brogan and I do lots of lifestyle videos here on my channel. I reviewed FabFitFun for the first time uh, end of last year, got my first box. I've had a winter box as well since, so this is my third one. They come every quarter seasonally. So this is the spring one. And how it works is it's an American lifestyle subscription box. It cost me just over £200 for the year for all four boxes, which to be honest is not too bad because £50 a box, you don't have to pay any customs or fees, that's all covered as well. That includes the shipping and you get to pick items. If you're a yearly member, annual, you get different perks and you can um, basically pick your items before everyone else and they have add-on sales and they do like loads of exclusive things for annual members but basically I do think it's worth the money however this time around there weren't a lot of items I love they do different categories so you pick like one item from like three or four different categories and you do it on the day and time that it goes live and you've got to be fast because things all the best stuff does get picked. It's a shame they don't do it in the UK yet, I think they should, but the beauty of it is that I do often find American brands that I can't get in the UK or I get to try things that I've not tried yet and it's just a nice little treat. I really do like it, so if you do want to give it a go, I think I have a referral code, I get a bit of discount, you get a bit of discount, um, or I get a bit of credit to use on future boxes and I did actually have £30 or $30 credit which I used towards my bag from the last time some of you signed up. So. Yes, we're gonna run through what's inside today. And yeah, I also bought a couple of other add-ons, not just the bag, I got two other things. I think they were lip products from memory. Really lovely packaging, love all the flowers, love the outside of the box as well, really lovely. And on the top you get a nice little magazine, um, which I actually really enjoyed reading last time. So this is their spring 2021 little magazine, there's loads of information and articles and um, bits about the products and things like that. We've got some stickers, very cute, I will use those in my planner. And then we've also got an American discount code thing. Okay, I haven't looked at any of these things yet and I'm super duper excited. So let's start with beauty things. First up, I ordered these, I don't know how you'd say these, I guess, is it say, literally is it say? say s-a-i-e say hello dot com um and these are reusable beauty cotton rounds now i'm a big fan of halo face halo beauty things the face halos are basically the same concept these are a lot fluffier i have to admit um but these are amazing amazing at taking off your makeup well the halo ones are anyway i made an instagram reel showing you that um how much i love them and yeah they are really great so i thought i'd give these ones a go can't go wrong can't have too many many of these because they often are obviously in the wash and come back out so yeah a really great item next we have sun's out pouts out i can't remember what I picked. Sometimes you pick things and sometimes they put things in for you. I don't recall this being a pick, if that makes sense. Um, but these are gold foil lip masks. I am a big fan of face masks right now and under eye masks and just loving um, having a little pamper especially when I go and have a bath and whatever, all this time at home. Um, but I've never tried a lip mask. So yeah, you get four in a pack. The brand is called SF, I think. And you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then remove it and it helps your lips feel all smooth. How exciting. I've got really dry, cracked, chapped lips, especially during the winter months. This is a really great pick and one I can see me sort of getting good use out of. And another nice thing is that you get four in there, you could easily keep one for yourself and then give a few to your girlfriends or your mum or your sister or whatever. So 
like it like it that's a good one next was one i definitely picked and i remember looking at the price and thinking wowee that's expensive and something i also do is i google the item to see if i can buy it in the uk and work out what the price of it is in the uk as well this is the elemis papaya enzyme peel it's a cream exfoliator and you put it on for 10 minutes and then you rinse it off and my skin is in desperate need of like a really good cleanse and scrub i just feel like well i've been cleansing and moisturizing but I just, it feels really dry um i could really do with something a bit like you know obviously this is just an unboxing today but if you want me to talk about anything that i've loved and used and whatever um then i can share that with you on my instagram if you follow me over there next we have a company called earth harbor marina i don't remember picking this biome brightening ampo I don't know how you say that, is named for the treasured ocean blue botonics she possesses. Viciously bright and balanced for even radiant complexion. I am not quite sure what this is. Oh, that's a cute little bottle. I like the colour. Um, I think it's just a serum by the looks of it. A brightening serum. Plant-based, vegan, cruelty-free, fair trade sustainable, small batches made, women women own brand, no soy, no gluten, no GMOs. Okay, how nice. A brand and company I've never heard of, obviously. It has a very subtle fragrance. Oh, it is nice. We'll see how I get on with that. So that's the next thing. Next up, we have tweezers. Oh yeah, I remember picking this because I keep losing my tweezers. Um, and they're the kind of item that you always need in you know different makeup bags and when i travel again it's just like you always need a pair of tweezers don't you so this is by a brand called summer and rose and yeah i just thought these were really lovely bog standard tweezers but with a very pretty design and then you've got a little case so i don't necessarily keep my tweezers in little cases to be honest oh it is nice that is nice. Again, there's something practical, like the makeup um, rounds, the reusable cotton things. This is something I'll get loads of use out of. Um, and it's something I was meaning to buy and just hadn't done yet. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's move on because the next item, I remember not liking a lot of the choices in this section. Um, and it's basically a company called Bloomingville. They're basically um, coasters and actually now I've got them in person, they're a bit nicer than I thought they'd be. Don't know why they don't all have white around the edges, that bottom one doesn't, so they don't all 100% match. Never mind. I think in all honesty, I've got someone in mind that I think will really like these. I might gift them as a gift. Yeah, I might pop these aside and gift them to someone else because they don't really go with the aesthetic I'm going for personally in my kitchen um, or our lounge but they are nice or maybe they'd be quite nice with like outdoor furniture if we get some garden furniture they might look quite nice outside but either way that was the next item. Next up we have a Studio Select, a brand called Gaiam. G-A-I-A-M. I don't I'm really, really bad at pronouncing anything. This is the ultimate core toning kit. I am currently uh visiting a chiropractor and I have physio because I have a really bad back at the moment. I have terrible posture, I am struggling a lot and I have to get realigned and I have treatment and then I go to what they call a rehab center where I um do some training um, basically to strengthen my back and my core. So my core is like the big one that I'm working on. I've been doing at home exercises to help with that, but I really want to obviously get back in the gym and get back outside and running and swimming and all sorts of stuff. And I saw this as an option. I thought, do you know what? That could be absolutely brilliant for me. So I was quite excited about this. this was the item I thought, do you know what? Yeah, this is, and now I say it, now I have everything in front of me like the items are nice nothing really wowed me when i was picking but this i did get excited about i mean it looks really strange but it does come with a promo code for one month on their app for free that i can try this is the core reformer and then this is actually a toning ball and as you can see these are the sort of exercises that you would do with them these are the items these are the exercises and you get the one month free for the app as well. 
Okay, well that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, it has got a few little marks on it there. I don't know if you can see that with my ring light. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to keep the little plastic thing so I can float up. Do you know what? That'd be really handy if you uh, needed to take it away with you as well. It's just a perfect little exercise ball, isn't it? I am really happy with this. Yeah, really great. Say yes to a better you. Target and tone the core, build strength and burn calories, increase flexibility. You know what? This is a great item. Love it. I don't own either of these products at home. Ultimate core toning kit. I mean, that's exactly what I need in my life. So I'm really, really quite shocked about this. <laughs> the next item. If you know me well, you'll be like, Brogan, you do not need any more of these. You're right, I don't. But I was a bit stuck on which items to pick again and I felt like this was the only option I really wanted. So I basically got packing cubes. <laughs> I do not need any more packing cubes. Now, if you've watched any of my Pack With Me videos, I always use packing cubes. I love them. Um, this is a brand called Cal Pack and they're great for your luggage, drawers, tote bags, gym bags, trunk space and more. I have to admit they are a little bit nicer than the ones that I already own. There's a set of three so you get small, medium and large and they're in a really lovely colour palette like it's like a ombre yellow and peachy creams. Oh there's already extra pocket on the back there we like that. Yeah there's a zip on the back of this one as well. I love the little handles on them and I also like the mesh like net so you can see through each pouch because there's nothing more annoying than like when you can't see what's inside each one because um, I have a couple of packing cubes like that and I forget what I've put inside so do you know what really great item I'm happy with that cool so that's everything that was in the spring box that I picked now I'm going to show you a couple of add-on items the first thing well I've got two lip products so it's a brand called oh hi with like two eyes so this just says it's a rose lip jelly. I can't really 100% tell because I'm actually already wearing lip gloss today, but it smells quite nice. I like the little packaging. It's like a nice little handbag size. I like the little, you know, applicator. Just a really cute little product. So I'm happy with that. I got this brand, Jouer, is that how you say it? Long wear lip cream liquid lipstick. Um, again, this wasn't too expensive, I don't think. But yeah, it's just like a, it was obviously difficult to know what this would look like. But it's just like a nude, nude colour. You just can't go wrong with that. I've got way too many lip products going on now. I don't know if you can see the colour of that on top. Perfect. Love it. So where is my phone? Oh, it's here. <laughs> like it's in my hand it's in my hand honey yeah so the ohi lip jelly was five dollars and the liquid cream was nine dollars so very chuffed with those little extra add-ons they do the sale um before obviously they ship the box so that everything came together in like a big box um so yeah so last but not least <laughs> I bought myself a handbag. This was quite spontaneous. So like I said, I had $30 in credit. Um, this bag was originally $259, I think. Then on FabFitFun, on the add-on sale, it was $149, but I had obviously some credit. Um, and I ended up working out that it cost me around 80, 90 UK pounds. So, basically i have already taken this all out of the packaging but it was beautifully wrapped although granted we are not going anywhere and using handbags i just wanted something nice that would make me feel good and i wanted a nice handbag that i can put on with loads of different outfits um for spring and summer but i just think it's gorgeous i love kate spade bags like just amazing it's quite small but it's gorgeous and it's got little magnets um, for this little bit at the front here is enough to fit sort of my camera my phone and my purse keys and a lipstick um, But it's not massive. But it has little pockets little pouch there little zip at the back and then another little pouch here And I just really really love it. So meet my new handbag I love bags. I can sort of pop over a side body like this and I'm gonna start taking it really fun places like the supermarket and the chiropractor <laughs> watch me use my nice handbag for all these boring things I'm doing but um yeah that's it that's my that's my bag I just thought I'd show you that um definitely a bit of an extra spendy purchase but um one that I do not regret whatsoever I really really think this was worth it and I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it and I just love it I love it I'm not really a massive designer handbag sort of girl I don't really spend money on like 
bags or shoes or belts or and I don't own any sort of like Gucci or anything like that. I just am not into those sort of big branded items. But as I get older, I see the great value in like treating yourself to nice things that you know you're gonna get a lot of love out. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed seeing my unboxing. Let me know what was your favorite product that I got in the box or that I picked from. And yeah, if you wanna check out Fab Fit Fun, I'll leave the link below to that. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.